Hi everyone and welcome to the Massman YouTube channel. In this video today I'm going to be showing you how to multiply a decimal by a decimal. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you four different examples starting with this one here. Um, each example that we, we complete is going to get a little bit more difficult um, finishing with this example at the end. So make sure you stick around to see if that's something that you're able to complete. Now, if you don't already know, when you're multiplying a decimal by a decimal, there's just one magic secret formula that you need to be able to do. And if you know how to do it, then multiplying decimals is so, so easy. So let's get straight to it. We have 2.7 multiplied by 5.2. Now, the key to multiplying decimals is just to pretend that the decimal point doesn't even exist. So I'm going to multiply 27 by 52. So can you see how I've just taken the decimal points out there and I just pretend that they're not even there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this as if it's a regular multiplication question. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 times 2 is, uh, is 4. Add 1 makes 5. Then I'm going to put my 0 down. 5 times 7 is 35, and then 5 times 2 is 10, add 3 makes 13, then I'm going to add it up, 4 add 0 makes 4, 5 add 5 makes 10, 3 add 1 makes 4, 1 add 0 makes 1. So here I have an answer of 1,404. But that is not my final answer, because now I need to remember that I'm multiplying decimals. And this is where the magic secret formula comes in. So because I have one decimal place and two decimal places, I'm going to move the decimal place two places, because I have one and I have two. So the decimal at the minute is here, but I'm going to move it one, two places to here. So my final answer is going to be 14.04. So in this example, we have 0 0.3 multiplied by 5.2. So as before, I'm going to pretend that the decimal point isn't even there. And I'm going to do 52 multiplied by 3. So 3 times 2 makes 6, 3 times 5 makes 15. So this is not my final answer. Let's have a look at how many decimal places I have. I have 1, I have 2, so I'm going to move the decimal point 1, 2 places to here. So my final answer is 1.56. So in this example, we have two decimal numbers that both start with zero, but nothing changes. I'm just going to take the digits that do have numbers. So 72 multiplied by four. And I'm just going to pretend that the decimals and the zeros don't exist right now. Four times two is eight. Four times seven is 28. So my final answer is not 288. I'm going to have a look. There's one decimal number, two decimal numbers, three decimal numbers. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and put my decimal point there. So because that's right at the front of the number, I'll also need to put a placeholder zero. So my answer is 0 0.288. So in my last example, I'm going to do 152 multiplied by 6, because I'm not interested in the decimal points at all. 6 times 2 makes 12. 6 times 5 makes 30. Add the 1 makes 31. 6 times 1 makes 6. Add 3 makes 9. And I've got one decimal number, two, three decimal numbers. So I'm going to go one, two, three, put my decimal point there, and a zero. 
So my final answer is 0 0.912. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. You might want to now check out how to divide a decimal by a decimal. I have made a video for that and I'll put that in the link. Um, I'll put a link to that um, in the description below. So feel free to check that one out. And if it was useful for you, then please help out the channel by hitting the like button and consider subscribing for more free maths videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.